Hey there. So I'm going to record a little voiceover uh, clip video thing in the corner because uh, I'm, I'm uh, getting familiar with um, Clip Studio. So I've had it for a while. I paid for uh, um, a pro or whatever you call it a couple years ago. And I used a little bit, but never a lot. Uh, but uh, I was feeling stuck in the drawing land and trying to get commissions done. But... Um, so much backlog stuff it kind of was bogging up the brain so i had to shift my focus to something else to uh overcome procrastinating um so i decided i'm going to start doing layouts for crowning fluorescence and clip studio to figure out how it works doing pencils or roughs or layouts uh is a good way to try out new software i find because i'm not trying to do stuff that's super finished but you can figure out where all the the bits are and every time i get to a point where I want to do something that um, I normally how to do, know how to do in, say, Photoshop. Um, I'll Google it for Clip Studio and see if it's how to do it there and add it to my knowledge base. I've been using uh, Affinity a bit, and it's always good to, like, stay abreast of the latest software, and I wanted to get uh, out of using Adobe stuff as much as I can, so... Um, so far, it's been pretty good. I like it. Uh, it also runs a lot better than a lot of other software on my computer in terms of, like, resource usage and problem hanging and stuff. It just... I wish it wouldn't f sort of freeze up when it auto-saves, but I've set it for every 30 minutes, so it's not too frequent. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking it. Uh, it works quite well. Even at very high resolutions, which is great. And I'll, I'll probably start experimenting with uh, drawing in vector mode, too. Um, for now, I've just been using rasterized layers and getting familiar with the pencils and brushes and different tools. Um, very light and snappy and responsive. I'm enjoying it. And so what you're seeing now is like five hours compressed down to seven minutes of time lapse of drawing for a couple pages. Um, I believe it's page four and page five. What am I on right now? Yeah, I'm on page five, about halfway through it. By the end of this clip, and uh, I've been enjoying just a change of pace for the last few days. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of tools. Like I wrote, I, I did a video recently about um, devices for breaking creative writer's block. Uh, uh, oblique strategy cards and story dice and things like that and cut ups. Also, I just find, like, changing modalities of mediums I'm working in are great for getting out of ruts. And when stress or, you know, I've got a, a backlog of, of commissions that I'm trying to get finished. Uh, a lot of them are related to things like the Dracula Kickstarter and Patreon commissions. And so I feel a little bit neurotic about the fact that I haven't gotten them done yet. Um, so I'm trying to get them done, but that exact same anxiety can get in the way of your ability to focus and lead to procrastinating avoidance basically so finding ways to um break the doing nothing stage and getting productive again and then getting back to doing the things you're supposed to be doing shortly after so like um i'm gonna do some portraits tomorrow that are uh, overdue commissions and i'm gonna work on uh, a dracula commission tomorrow and then i have to prep for classes but uh i'll probably do some more for lessons, penciling, and um, we'll see. There's a, a huge pile of dues. I'm also working on a big anthology project that I need to spend some time thinking about. Uh, right now, we're just trying to f think of names of Canadian creators, um, especially those that have not been thought of enough, which is challenging. Um, any favorite Canadian creators who don't get enough attention? Mention in the comments if you're seeing this. Uh, I also have some videos I need to edit. I have a couple, bunch of interviews, six of them now, and we've got another one coming up at the end of this week with a pretty cool subject. And I have some remaining reading to do for that interview. <laughs> and and uh, six of them to edit. Not too much editing, but I wanted to do a little editing, and we need to record. And Sam, Sam and I need to record a little intro piece, but I still haven't figured out what we should do for it. And we need to talk about that. We need to talk to Sam about it. Um... So yeah, getting the ball rolling. How's your August going? 
think July and June. It was just like a uh, air conditioned, sweaty, heat exhaustion and stressed out haze for me a little bit. Teaching's been going good. Making comics class has gone well. Um, to talk to about some stuff about future plans when it comes to teaching, but um, so far, just wish we were doing more classes. I'm only doing the one, and uh, I've been meaning to sit down and record more lessons for Patreon and try to get a, a proper full online course going on my own. Hopefully, I can attract more students, and I have feedback to do for two students. That's another thing I can do this week. Ah, oh, the do, the do's, the do's, all the do's to do, all the do to do's to do. There we go. All the to do's to do, 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 all the to do's to do. Don't want to get to you. Um, hey, so coming up in seven minutes. If you want to help out, a really great thing to do is to get you and all your friends to pledge two bucks to read all my comics on Patreon. Um, it's a great option because it lets you gets you access to all of my comics without uh, like digital digital editions of all of them, um, and access to all my work in process posts directly to your inbox, assuming you get notifications on Patreon, um, and access to some patrons only content, uh, the library being one of those. But there's also other posts and bits of behind the scenes stuff. And you'll have access to the student patron posts, not to necessarily get homework and things, but you can see a lot of them just to check out. Uh, and, um, yeah, I do a lot of stuff on Patreon. Um, and it'd be great to have, you know, a couple hundred <laughs> subscribers, uh, just patron readers. That'd be awesome. Uh, pie in the sky. Um, hopefully not too pie in the sky. So maybe like this video and go over to Patreon and pledge and uh, join my Patreon today. Thanks for checking it out, and uh, more to come. This is just the middle of the process.